Yeah, hi, it's the 4th of March 2018 at midday. Uh, as usual, I start each video by uh, with a, a disclaimer that I'm part of the MGTOW divided into at least two camps, probably three or four, but two main ones that's guys who are, are going their own particular way, you know, loosely grouped together, um, but all doing different things, going their own way, as opposed to the other group that are all going in the one direction. I'm in the former group, uh, doing my own thing. Okay, I'm, having said that, uh, I do feel as though I'm, I'm swimming against the tide a little uh, with MGTOW, which is fine, I don't mind. Uh, it'll, it'll take a, a time for you to understand where I'm coming from and what I'm on about. Uh, and, you know, all of these things do take time. But I thought about it through the night and I thought, yeah, look, maybe a good way to describe it is um, just forgetting MGTOW for a bit and, and talk about cars. Yes, I thought, you know, I could actually, I could probably go on and on and on for maybe your 30 or 40 videos about what a bad idea cars are. I mean, I don't even know where I would start, but they're just... Well, they're expensive. Come on, let's be honest. They're expensive to buy. Uh, they're expensive to keep going. To, you know, maintenance, petrol, shit. They're just, just they're a big drain on your resources. <clears throat> all right. There's no doubt about that. You know, it causes all sorts of kill a lot of people. Uh, more people die on the road than you can poke a stick at. Um, yeah, they're it's unhealthy for the environment. They they pump out a heap. You know, you think about all the, the, the gas that comes out of an exhaust pipe on a 100-kilometre trip. It'd make a huge cloud in the sky, you know, if it was just all, if it was white. If it came, instead of coming out clear, it came out white, yeah, it'd be a huge cloud. Yeah, just just one car, That's and it's all going into the atmosphere. Yeah, I could go on and on about that. And, I, look, I could just, oh, I, but who is going to listen to me? I mean, they'd, after a while, they'd be all saying, yeah, yeah, we know that. Yep, yep, I've got to go. I've got to go and pick up the car. <laughs> I mean, that's just the truth of it. You know, you, you, <clears throat> yeah, I, could, I could go on and on and on and on and on ad nauseum, and, and people say, yep, 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 we know all that. Mm -hmm. So what's your point? That's what they'd say. Sorry, that's just how they are. They wouldn't go, gee, I hadn't thought of that before. Oh, maybe I better get rid of that car. No, I've got to go and pick up the kids. Or I've got to go shopping, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. They don't think. Okay, they just do it. Uh, there's a car, you get into it. Yeah, it's expensive, costs a fortune. I don't have one. I've got two push bikes. You know? Um, oh, the money I save is just amazing. I couldn't live with a car. I'd be, I wouldn't be eating. I just couldn't afford to, to run one. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And, you know, it's, it's really... I, I could go on and on and on about that, but who's interested, <laughs> really? I mean, there might be a small group of people who are interested, and I say, okay, Magic, so how are you actually living without a car? Well, well you know, to tell, tell us a bit about your experiences and that sort of thing. Oh, I could say, oh, it's not a lot to tell, really, but, oh, I do things like I have two bikes, so if one breaks, um, you know, and I need to, re to replace the parts, I get them in from China, all right? And it's a lot cheaper. Like, oh, you know, a brake colour, you know, buy, buy a set of brakes here, um, might be 40 bucks. Get it from China for 10, there's a $30 saving. So, you know, that's paid for half the other bike. So it's just sitting there. So I just, you know, when one breaks, I just, you know, order the part and get on the other one. So I've got two. I, don't, I think I've got three out there, actually. The other one's not working, but yeah, so it costs me fuck all to run it. I mean, that could be interesting. You think, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, if I ever get that way. I think, well, I live in this flat area, you know, and I mean, I watch all these videos about, you know, dirty traffic lights and things and how the laws are changing. And I think, oh, and I remember when I did drive, you know, you'd be sitting there panicking the whole time that, that you know, you're going to get busted for, you know, $200, $300, you know, for making a mistake, you know, drifting over the t uh, over the speed limit or, you know, sailing through a school zone at, uh, you know, at 10 o'clock in the morning when the kids are all in school and, and getting a fine, $300, you know, plus loss of you know, points on your license. You think, yeah, I, I don't miss that at all. And, I, you know, I look at it now and I think, they're even trying to crack down on push bike riders. Yeah, I've got to carry ID just to ride a fucking push bike. 
you know, and a helmet and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's, they're even getting tougher on that. Yeah, you know, that is even a worry, let alone a car. And, you, you know, you wouldn't even realise the stress that you're under just getting in the car to drive downtown. Yeah. And, uh, and you've only got to, you know, make one little mistake, bang, you're in court, your know, life is ruined. Now, I could easily draw the analogy, you know, <laughs> but what's the difference between that and a woman? Yeah, it's a loser. As soon as you drive the sucker out of the bloody, out of the, you know, the, the, the car lot, you've lost, God knows how much of its value. Just like that, bang, as soon as you get it out. Yeah, it smells nice, feels good, yep, blah, 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 it's reliable for a while. Yep, uh, but, yep, down goes a few grand, just like that. Yep, so, you know, that's that's the whole point. So, you know, I mean, that, that's just to put it in perspective. And complaining about women you know, incessantly like that is much the same as complaining about cars. You know, people just lose interest. They think, yeah, OK. Like, for MGTOW, you know, they're, they're, they're non-car owners. Yep, we're all push bike riders, oh, which is a good thing. Yep, and I mean, you know, you're riding your push bikes now, you know, so how much more do you want to hear about the cars? You know, don't you want to talk about, you know, why, don't you want to address the issues of, yeah, what, but what if you wanted to go, you know, further away? How do you get on there? See, then I have to address that. Or what about this situation? Or what about that situation? Or, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not all, oh, it's all hunky-dory. Because like, I can't go very far. I mean, I can only, you know, I can ride a few kilometres. And I, like I was even thinking about it for the sake of this, for this uh, video, I thought, well, you know, I had to pick up a lounge suite the other day, uh, a big one. I couldn't carry it home. I thought, I wonder, if, I wonder if I could buy a trolley to put on the on the back of the bike, you know, because you can buy all sorts of attachments for them. Not very expensive. That'd be an idea. I got to you know throw a fridge out and do a few other things that I don't want the people here to see. Yeah, so yeah, I could actually use a trolley. For, and then I thought, fuck it. I, I threw a guy ten bucks to pick up the uh, the, the the couch for me. I throw him another ten bucks. He'll get rid of the fridge for me. So do I really need you know a tr you know a, 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 a trolley a, a sort of a trailer a bike tra trailer that's just going to take up space? So I thought uh, maybe not. I uh, couldn't be bothered. You know I don't I don't have that much of a need for it. And I thought if I had a car, what would I do with the car? I would only go to places around here that reminded me of my family. I just get it would depress me. I thought, well, if I felt like getting depressed one day, you know, I could hire a car, couldn't I? You know, 100 bucks or whatever they are, 80 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever they are. Yeah, and I could drive around to where we used to go and get depressed all day and return the car at the end of the day and that's it. But, I mean, do I need to spending, you know, oh, how much is it a week? <laughs> Every week. And that's, you know, that's even before you put petrol in it. You know, it, it's, it, it's, it's, um, and I mean, once you get over the, the embarrassment of, of riding a push bike, I got over it years ago, I don't give a shit what people think. It's no problem. But, you know, I see other guys, no, they won't get on a push bike, they've got to get a taxi. You know, $30 to go into town. You know, it's half a push bike. You know, and nobody gives a shit. If they see you on a push bike walking on it, so what? Who cares? But anyway, that's that's the way that is. But but that's, this is just, you know, to, yeah, so it, it's in the... You know, and what I'm what I'm finding with MGTOW, unfortunately, is we're going over and over and over. What a bad a bad idea a car is, uh, going on a nauseam. Yeah, you could drop on all the statistics, all the thing. Yeah, you could walk around, you know, saying, "Oh, you car owner, you but you environmental terrorist." And I said, "Yeah, you could do all that." I don't know, but I don't know how many people will listen to you before they start thinking you're a bit of a crackpot. Um, yeah, so that's that. I hope that puts it in some sort of perspective but yeah all the arguments you can think about oh god I could just go on and on and really what's the benefit of a car really when it gets down to it who knows I don't know it's a bit like a woman what's really the, the what's really the benefit who fucking knows it just seems yeah you should have a car yeah it's a little bit like that yeah you just should have a woman around I don't, if I could afford it and I'd have a car I like driving yeah it's good fun yeah, I get one with a speed limit though, and I, I, I do things differently. Yeah, I actually, except my thing, I used to have a mini moke. I thought it'd be a great idea to save money, get a mini moke. Fuck, I spent my whole life fixing that prick of a thing. But the one advantage it had, it couldn't get much above 70 kilometres an hour. 
and it really you know, all the it had those canvas sides a real old one well, it's 1977 model I think yeah and all the sides you get up to 70 uh, sides of kilometers not miles 70 a flap and, uh, and you think oh it's going to fucking break you know so you slow down you go to 60 you know and you're out in the highway uh, everybody's backed up behind you beep 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 <laughs> I spent my most of my time driving on the you know the shoulder yeah um but the, the the best thing was never got never worried about getting a speeding fine, and I didn't realise until you know we got a better car. And holy fuck! I couldn't I almost not get a speeding fine. The fucking thing just just touch it and it was, that's 110 shit. And I had the whole family screaming, "Slow down! Slow down! Slow down!" I mean, it was just another reason for them to scream at me. I hated it. I couldn't stand it. Uh, so, but I mean, I could go on about that. But I, I bet. I bet I can't convince any one of you to give up your car. You say, yeah, 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 I probably should, you know, I could do that, yeah, yeah it's dreaming. Yeah, you just, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even attempt to get you to give up your car. A lot of advantages of not having a car, uh, but I wouldn't even attempt to do so. But anyway, the, the, the takeaway from, from this video is, yeah, it, it's all the arguments of, against owning a car. Uh, heaps of them and, and, and it's the same as a woman you got a woman and a car same thing what you could do is take the car and run over the woman <laughs> and that that would make that would make the car truly useful okay we're talking to you see you later